Good afternoon students. Today let's begin our, with our English prose. Let's recap now. In the last chapter we had seen about the language of the animals in the lesson Dr. Doolittle learns animal language. I hope all have understood that lesson very well. Now today we are going to learn about a beautiful poem i would like to be a lighthouse it means i want to be exactly like a lighthouse so in this poem we are going to learn about a lighthouse that how lighthouse does the work of helping others especially to the ship exactly in the same way if suppose our uh, today's generation will ever get success or victory in their life then what is their duty that they should help to the others also this is what we are going to learn in this today's poem also i would like to be a lighthouse that how a lighthouse is doing its work means lighthouse also does the same work of helping to the others now helping to the others mean helping especially to the ships by showing its light and way to the ships now i would like to give you all a very good and interesting example for understanding this poem in a more better way students have you all ever seen a torch yes torch torch means which gives you a flash of light especially at the time of the load shedding when electricity is not there in your house or in your whole area there is totally dark everywhere and because of lack of electricity in your house or area you cannot see anything around you nearby or far away at that time you make a proper use of a torch yes torch that is a flash of light when you will on the button of a torch you will see a flash of light coming from it through a flash of light you can be able to see the things around you near by you or far away from you also with the help of a torch and its flash of light you can be able to show the way to some needy ones by helping him or her right in the same way lighthouse also does the same work of showing the light means showing the way to the ship so let's start with our today's poem now by reading it from the textbook page number 31 students take the pencils in your hands for marking the hard words and wherever i feel like explaining the meaning of any word or a sentence in between i will explain you all one by one okay students so let's start with the chapter number 14 i would like to be a light house now the very first line i would like to be a light house means i want to be exactly like a light house all scrubbed and painted white please underline the word scrubbed means if we rub on any surface if we rub anything on any surface and mix it clean in the same way a lighthouse building or a tower or a structure is also scrubbed and painted it in a white color i would like to be a lighthouse again the poet wants to say that i want to be exactly like a lighthouse 
and stay awake all the night means in this line the poet is saying that i would like to be a lighthouse and want to stay awake the whole night because in the night only the poet being a lighthouse can show its light to the ship coming and going because in the day time everyone can see the things it is useful only in the night time to see the things around it next line to keep my eye on everything means the poet want to say here being a poet i want to be a lighthouse and wants to keep my eye on everything i want to see everything in and around the things going on the sea shore that says my patch of sea underline the word patch it means lights are thrown on the sea becomes a patch of light and in that patch of light we can clearly see who is coming and who is going i would like to be a lighthouse again the poet is saying i want to be exactly like a lighthouse with the ships all watching me means being a lighthouse i want to see all the ships coming and going all should watch at me when i throw my lights on the ships especially at the night time now let's proceed further and read out the rest of the poem a lighthouse is a tower building or tall structure on the sea shore from the lighthouse big beams underline the word beams it means thing or flashes of light beams means flashes of light only are thrown out this beam helps the ships at sea to navigate underline the word navigate the meaning of navigate is helping the ships to find their ways across the sea i repeat meaning of navigate means helping the ships to find their ways across the sea they can tell the ships that there is a port nearby underline the word port port means a place where ships may ride secure from the storms i repeat again port means a place where the ships may ride secure from the storms it is safe to go near the port or that that there are dangerous rocks under the sea etc in the days of old modern means of communication underline the word communication like radio mobile phones underline word mobile internet underline internet were not available to the people therefore the warning signals of the lighthouse were very useful to the ships in today's age of radio tv the internet satellite services underline the word satellite many other facilities are available to the ships and the aeroplanes when they travel across the sea or sky so i hope all have understood this beautiful poem very well students thank you students stay home stay safe